PAL, short for Phase Alternating Line, is a color encoding system for analog television used in broadcast television systems in most countries broadcasting at 576i. Other common color encoding systems are NTSC and SECAM. This page primarily discusses the PAL color encoding system. The articles on broadcast television systems and analog television further describe frame rates, image resolution and audio modulation. For discussion of the 625 line 50 field per second television standard, see 576i. History In the 1950s, the Western European countries commenced planning to introduce color television, and were faced with the problem that the NTSC standard demonstrated several weaknesses, including color tone shifting under poor transmission conditions. To overcome NTSC's shortcomings, alternative standards were devised, resulting in the development of the PAL and SECAM standards. The goal was to provide a color TV standard for the European picture frequency of 50 fields per second, and finding a way to eliminate the problems with NTSC. PAL was developed by Walter Brutsch at Telfunken in Hanover, Germany, with important input from Dr. Cruz and Gerard Marlera, de. The format was patented by Telfunken in 1962, citing Brutsch as inventor, and unveiled to European Broadcasting Union members on January 3, 1963, with the first broadcasts beginning in the United Kingdom and West Germany in 1967 a Euro the one BBC channel initially using the broadcast standard was BBC Two which had been the first UK TV service to introduce 625 lines in 1964. Telfunken Pal Colour 708T was the first PAL commercial TV set. It was followed by Lua S920 and F900. Telfunken was later bought by the French electronics manufacturer Thomson. Thomson also bought the Compagnie Gare Copyright Nar Copyright Rail d'Etat Copyright La Copyright Vision where Henri de France developed SECAM, the first European standard for color television. Thomson, now called Technicolor SA, also owns the RCA brand and licenses it to other companies. Radio Corporation of America, the originator of that brand, created the NTSC Color TV standard before Thomson became involved. The term PAL is often used informally and somewhat imprecisely to refer to the 625 line 50 Hz television system in general, to differentiate from the 525 line 60 Hz system generally used with NTSC. Accordingly, DVDs are labeled as PAL or NTSC even though technically the discs do not carry either PAL or NTSC composite signal. CCIR 625-50 and DIA 525-60 are the proper names for these standards. PAL and NTSC are only the method of transmitting color to the TV. Color encoding both the PAL and the NTSC system use a quadrature amplitude modulated subcarrier carrying the chrominance information added to the luminance video signal to form a composite video baseband signal. The frequency of this subcarrier is 4.4336187.5 MHz for PAL, compared to 3.579545 MHz for NTSC. The SECAM system, on the other hand, uses a frequency modulation scheme on its two-line alternate color subcarriers 4.25000 and 4.40625 MHz. The name phase alternating line describes the way that the phase of part of the color information on the video signal is reversed with each line, which automatically corrects phase errors in the transmission of the signal by cancelling them out, at the expense of vertical frame color resolution. Lines where the color phase is reversed compared to NTSC are often called PAL or phase alternation lines, which justifies one of the expansions of the acronym, while the other lines are called NTSC lines. Early PAL receivers relied on the human eye to do that cancelling. However, this resulted in a comb-like effect known as Hanover bars on larger phase errors. Thus, most receivers now use a chrominance the analog delay line, which stores the received color information on each line of display. An average of the color information from the previous line and the current line is then used to drive the picture tube. The effect is that phase errors result in saturation changes, 
which are less objectionable than the equivalent hue changes of NTSC. A minor drawback is that the vertical color resolution is poorer than the NTSC systems, but since the human eye also has a color resolution that is much lower than its brightness resolution, this effect is not visible. In any case, NTSC, PAL, and SECAM all have chrominance bandwidth reduced greatly compared to the luminance signal. The 4.4336187 MHz frequency of the color carrier is a result of 283.75 color clock cycles per line plus a 25 Hz offset to avoid interferences. Since the line frequency is 15625 Hz, the color carrier frequency calculates as follows. 4.4336187 MHz equals 283.75 A. 15,625 Hz plus 25 Hz. The original color carrier is required by the color decoder to recreate the color difference signals. Since the carrier is not transmitted with the video information it has to be generated locally in the receiver. In order that the phase of this locally generated signal can match the transmitted information, a 10-cycle burst of color subcarrier is added to the video signal shortly after the line sync pulse but before the picture information, during the so-called back porch. This color burst is not actually in phase with the original color subcarrier, but leads it by 45 degrees on the odd lines and lags it by 45 degrees on the even lines. This swinging burst enables the color decoder circuitry to distinguish the phase of the OY vector which reverses every line. PAL versus NTSC PAL usually has 576 visible lines compared with 480 lines with NTSC, meaning that PAL has a 20% higher resolution. Both PAL and NTSC have a higher frame rate than film, 24 frames per second, offering flicker-free motion. Most TV output for PAL and NTSC use interlaced frames meaning that even lines update on one frame and odd lines update on the next frame. Interlacing frames gives a smoother motion with half the frame rate, the downside is with scene changes. NTSC is used with the FPS of 60A or 30P whereas PAL generally uses 50A or 25P. Both use a high enough frame rate to give the illusion of fluid motion. This is due to the fact that NTSC is generally used in countries with a utility frequency of 60Hz and PAL in countries with 50Hz although there are many exceptions. PAL has a closer frame rate to that of film and is less likely to suffer from issues caused during frame rate conversion. Artifacts caused by frame rate conversion required when video has been recorded at the wrong rate for the display can be severe. NTSC receivers have a tint control to perform color correction manually. If this is not adjusted correctly, the colors may be faulty. The PAL standard automatically cancels hue errors by phase reversal, so a tint control is unnecessary. Chrominance phase errors in the PAL system are cancelled out using a one-hour delay line resulting in lower saturation, which is much less noticeable to the eye than NTSC hue errors. However, the alternation of color information a Euro Han over Barca Euro can lead to picture grain on pictures with extreme phase errors even in PAL systems. If decoder circuits are misaligned or use the simplified decoders of early designs. In most cases such extreme phase shifts do not occur. This effect will usually be observed when the transmission path is poor, typically in built-up areas or where the terrain is unfavorable. The effect is more noticeable on UHF and VHF signals as VHF signals tend to be more robust. In the early 1970s some Japanese set manufacturers developed decoding systems to avoid paying royalties to Telfunken. The Telfunken license covered any decoding method that relied on the alternating subcarrier phase to reduce phase errors. This included very basic PAL decoders that relied on the human eye to average out the odd even line phase errors. One solution was to use a one-hour analog delay line to allow decoding of only the odd or even lines. For example, the chrominance on odd lines would be switched directly through to the decoder and also be stored in the delay line. Then, on even lines, the stored odd line would be decoded again. This method effectively converted PAL to NTSC. 
such systems suffered hue errors and other problems inherent in NTSC and required the addition of a manual hue control. PAL and NTSC have slightly divergent color spaces, but the color decoder differences here are ignored. PAL versus SECAM SECAM is an earlier attempt at compatible color television which also tries to resolve the NTSC hue problem. It does so by applying a different method to color transmission, namely alternate transmission of the U and V vectors and frequency modulation, while PAL attempts to improve on the NTSC method. SECAM transmissions are more robust over longer distances than NTSC or PAL. However, owing to their FM nature, the color signal remains present, although at reduced amplitude, even in monochrome portions of the image, thus being subject to stronger cross-color. Like PAL, a SECAM receiver needs a delay line, but unlike PAL, it is not possible to build a SECAM receiver without one. PAL Signal Details For PALBG the signal has these characteristics. Total horizontal sync time 12.05 a microsecond, after 0.9 a microsecond a 2.25 a plus or minus 0.23 a a microsecond color burst of 10 a plus or minus 1 cycles ascent. Most rise fall times are in 250 a plus or minus 50 a n s range. Amplitude is 100% for white level, 30% for black, and 0% for sync. The CVBS electrical amplitude is VPP 1.0 a V and impedance of 75 by copyright. The vertical timings are, total vertical sync time 1.6 milliseconds, as PAL is interlaced, every two fields are summed to make a complete picture frame. Luminance, is derived from red, green, and blue signals, and are used to transmit chrominance. Each has a typical bandwidth of 1.3 MHz. Composite PAL signal timing where Subcarrier frequency is 4.4336175 MHz for PALBGIN. PAL broadcast systems, this table illustrates the differences, system I has never been used on VHF in the UK. The UK's adoption of 582 active lines has no significant impact on either non-system I receivers or non-system I source material as the extra lines are not within the normal display area and do not contain anything in the other standards anyway. All digital TV broadcasts and digital recordings conform to the 576 active line standard. PAL BDI the majority of countries using PAL have television standards with 625 lines and 50 fields per second, differences concern the audio carrier frequency and channel bandwidths. The variants are, standards BG are used in most of Western Europe, Australia, and New Zealand, standard I in the UK, Ireland, Hong Kong, South Africa, and Macau, standards DK in most of Central and Eastern Europe, standard D in mainland China. Most analog CCTV cameras are standard D, systems B and G are similar. System B is used for 7 MHz wide channels on VHF, while system G is used for 8 MHz wide channels on UHF. Similarly, systems D and K are similar except for the bands they use, system D is only used on VHF, while system K is only used on UHF. Although system I is used on both bands, it has only been used on UHF in the United Kingdom due to the black and white 405 line system of TV services on VHF operating until the 1980s, PALM. In Brazil, PAL is used in conjunction with the 525 line, 59.94 field S system M, using the NTSC color subcarrier frequency. Exact color subcarrier frequency of PALM is 3.575611 MHz. Almost all other countries using system M use NTSC. The PAL color system can also be applied to an NTSC like 525 line picture to form what is often known as PAL60. PALM, however, should not be confused with PAL60. PALN, in Argentina, Paraguay and Uruguay the PALN variant is used. It employs the 625 line slash 50 field per second wave form of PALBG, DK, H, and I, 
but on a 6 MHz channel with a chrominance subcarrier frequency of 3.582 MHz very similar to NTSC. VHS tapes recorded from a PALN or a PALBG, DK, H, or I broadcast are indistinguishable because the down-converted subcarrier on the tape is the same. A VHS recorded off TV in Europe will play in color on any PALN VCR and PALN TV in Argentina, Paraguay and Uruguay. Likewise, any tape recorded in Argentina, Paraguay or Uruguay off a PALN TV broadcast can be sent to anyone in European countries that use PAL and it will display in color. This will also play back successfully in Russia and other SECAM countries. As the USSR mandated PAL compatibility in 1985 a Euro this has proved to be very convenient for video collectors. People in Argentina, Paraguay and Uruguay usually own TV sets that also display NTSCM, in addition to PALN. DirecTV also conveniently broadcasts in NTSCM for North, Central, and South America. Most DVD players sold in Argentina. Paraguay and Uruguay also play PALDISCSA Euro however, this is usually output in the European variant, so people who own a TV set which only works in PALN will have to watch those PAL DVD imports in black and white as the color subcarrier frequency in the TV set is the PALN variation, 3.582056 MHz. In the case that a VHS or DVD player works in PAL and the TV set works in PALN, there are two options, images can be seen in black and white, or, an inexpensive transcoder can be purchased in order to see the colors, some DVD players include an internal transcoder and the signal can be output in NTSCM, with some video quality loss due to the system's conversion from a 625-50 PAL DVD to the NTSCM 525-60 output format. A few DVD players sold in Argentina, Paraguay and Uruguay also allow a signal output of NTSCM, PAL, or PALN. In that case, a PAL disc can be played back on a PALN TV because there are no field line conversions, quality is generally excellent. Extended features of the PAL specification, such as teletext, are implemented quite differently in PALN. PALN supports a modified 608 closed captioning format that is designed to ease compatibility with NTSC originated content carried on line 18, and a modified teletext format that can occupy several lines. Some special VHS video recorders are available which can allow viewers the flexibility of enjoying PALN recordings using a standard PAL color TV, or even through multi-system TV sets. Video recorders like Panasonic NVW1E, AGW2, AGW3, NVJ700AM, AOHVM110S, HVM1U. Samsung SV4000W and SV7000W feature a digital TV system conversion circuitry. PALL, the PALL standard uses the same video system as PALBH, but with 6 MHz video bandwidth rather than 5.5 MHz. This requires the audio subcarrier to be moved to 6.5 MHz. An 8 MHz channel spacing is used for PALL. System A, the BBC tested their pre-war 405 line monochrome system with all three color standards including PAL, before the decision was made to abandon 405 and transmit color on 625 system I only. PAL interoperability, the PAL color system is usually used with a video format that has 625 lines per frame and a refresh rate of 50 interlaced fields per second, such systems being B, G, H. I, and N. This ensures video interoperability. However as some of these standards use different sound carriers, it may result in a video image without audio when viewing a signal broadcast over the air or cable. Some countries in Eastern Europe which formerly used SECAM with systems D and K have switched to PAL while leaving other aspects of their video system the same, resulting in the different sound carrier. Instead, other European countries have changed completely from SECAMDK to PALBG. The PALN system has a different sound carrier, 
and also a different color subcarrier, and decoding on incompatible PAL systems results in a black and white image without sound. The PALM system has a different sound carrier and a different color subcarrier, and does not use 625 lines or 50 frames second. This would result in no video or audio at all when viewing a European signal. Multisystem PAL support and PAL 60, recently manufactured PAL television receivers can typically decode all of these systems except, in some cases, PALM and PALN. Many receivers can also receive Eastern European and Middle Eastern SECAM, though rarely French broadcast SECAM unless they are manufactured for the French market. They will correctly display plain CVBS or S video SECAM signals. Many can also accept baseband NTSCM, such as from a VCR or game console, and RF modulated NTSC with a PAL standard audio subcarrier though not usually broadcast NTSC. Many sets also support NTSC with a 4.43 MHz subcarrier. Many 1990s onwards VCR players sold in Europe can play back NTSC tapes discs. When operating in this mode most of them do not output a true PAL signal, but rather a hybrid consisting of the original NTSC line standard but with color converted to PAL 4.43 LMHZ A Euro this is known as PAL 60 with 60 standing for 60 Hz, instead of 50 Hz. Some video game consoles also output a signal in this mode. Most newer television sets can display such a signal correctly, but some will only do so in black and white and or with flickering fold over at the bottom of the picture, or picture rolling. Some TV tuner cards or video capture cards will support this mode. A PAL60 signal is similar to an NTSC signal, but with a usual PAL chrominance subcarrier at 4.43 MHz and with a PAL specific phase alternation of the red color difference signal between the lines. Most European DVD players output a true NTSCM signal when playing NTSC discs, which many modern European TV sets can resolve. However, the question of color system interoperability became largely moot in the European context in the 1980s, with the forced introduction on RGBSCART connectors, first on the French market. Countries and territories using PAL, over 120 countries and territories currently use or once used the terrestrial PAL system. Many of these are currently converting terrestrial PAL to DVB-T. PAL-B, G. D, K, or I, PAL M, a Brazil, an update to ISDBT, started in December 2007. PAL broadcast continues until 2016. PAL N, an Argentina or 1080i at 50 Hz, a Paraguay, a Uruguay, countries and territories that once used PAL. The following countries no longer use PAL for terrestrial broadcasts although PAL may still be used in less centralized applications such as analog cable TV. See also, PAL Plus, Broadcast Television Systems, Advanced Television Systems Committee Standards, Multi-Channel Television Sound, NTSC, NTSCJ, RCA, SECAM. Moving Image Formats, Early Television Stations, Digital Television, Broadcast Safe, PAL Region, Differential Gain, YUV, References. External links, Review of the different refresh rates of PAL, NTSC and Motion Picture Films, Australian VHF UHF PAL BG Television System Data Sheet.